Hello everyone. Don't you just hate it when the people were having riots for months on end want to impeach your president when he had one minor riot in the Capitol? Madam Speaker, I am against the impeachment effort by the Democrats. President Trump has held over 600 rallies in the last four years. None of them included assaulting police, destroying businesses, or burning down cities. Democrats have spent all this time endorsing and enabling violent riots that left billions in property damage and 47 dead across the United States. Democrats are on record supporting violence when it serves their cause in their own words, on social media, on interviews, and on fundraising platforms at Blue. Democrats support defunding the police when it's someone else's city, someone else's home, and someone else's business. Democrats will take away everyone's guns just as long as they have guards with guns. Democrats' impeachment of President Trump today has now set the standard that, sh that they should be removed for their support of violence against the, the American people. I yield back. Thank you. These folks are so detached that Trump's the bad guy, but they can go on riots, bail people out, go after people in the news, go after people all over. They've attacked just about everyone, even their own. And big tech is helping out the Democrats to try to get everyone to agree with their agenda. And eventually, we'll be left with a one-party system down the road. Communist Democrats. Patriots. Actual American people should not let this happen. We all should be giving Biden and Harris hell this term as they did to everybody that was in the Trump administration, anybody who happened to vote for Trump. All of us were shat upon and it was done for four years straight. And now, of course, Biden is talking unity. Of course, we're hearing that people are supposed to be hunted down and censored. So which is it, unity or attack? Please explain which one you want to do, Joe Biden. We're a little confused. Keep this in mind when you're trying to think that the Democrats have any good points. When we were supposed to have the first COVID stimulus, the Republicans did in fact shoot it down, but it was only because they put parts of the Green New Deal in it that would have essentially destroyed American economy. They were talking about going down 10% on our gas usage within a year. Those type of things are supposed to be tied in with global warming and viruses are supposed to be let loose new all the time because of global warming. And this doomsday porn that they've been selling to everyone out there is supposed to make you to believe that everything they do is tied into that. So when they do something corruptive or something that could possibly destroy our economy, it's because they still have our best interest at heart, believe it or not. Conservatives had had truth and facts in their favor for a long time now. The biggest trouble is that the Democrats, the MSNBCs, and the people who run social media platforms all agree with them, and they almost seem evil to the point of, we would rather beat you down and then put tape over your mouth. They will block truth from fellow Americans. Whether you like him or not, they are shutting your ability to listen to our president. So if you're a Democrat and you don't like him and you're going, yay, we don't have to listen to him anymore, just understand they're hurting you too because you're not being kept in the loop. And Biden should be impeached. This man has got to be on brain-altering medications. We would go far as to say he should be removed on site. However, we're a little bit scared and intimidated by that prospect because Kamala Harris is even worse than Joe Biden himself. Sit on somebody's lap to get a position in life. Throw 1,500 black men in jail for the very thing you're sitting at home doing. We're glad that there's at least somebody willing to have a backbone, and we guarantee you this woman will be attacked henceforth. It's part of the globalist tactics. We make sure that your government is a one-party government. And if that government ever tries to go on a limb and be Trump-tastic ever again, they're going to be shut down. They're going to be attacked. And we guarantee you this woman right here is probably going to be attacked for actually telling the truth. And that's how you know you're on the right side. Because when you're sitting around a venomous swarm of vile snakes and they're hissing and they're striking at you, maybe you just have a point. Maybe you're hitting a little too close to home for their comfort. And we need more Americans, just like Donald Trump, just like this woman, to come out and put her foot down, his foot down, and say no more. We wonder if it's gone past that now. 
when people can't talk from the opposition, from the opposite party. That means you're a one-world government. You're a one-party government. You have jumped into totalitarianism. One party controls you for the rest of your life, whether they allow you to know that or not. They've demonized police. They've demonized the army. They've demonized the opposition. And what all that carries with it is a party that stands alone. And that's what they wanted. Let's get this very clear. All rioting is bad. We should always condemn it. We should always do that. However, politicians in the media like to cherry pick what is okay and what is not. You cherry pick what info is factual and what is not. If you're considered news, then stop being activists. Stop trying to portray your beliefs on the American public every single day. We're not allowed to go to church, but we can sit in front of the TV and get this mind-numbing drivel drilled into our head. Trump's bad, Trump's bad, Trump's bad, Trump's bad. And Biden himself came out and said, if you say a thing enough, people will believe it. And he was referring to the media. He was trying to say it was Trump that did this sort of thing. But what media did Trump have? 98% of the media, it's already been factored in and proven. 98% of the media has been against Donald Trump from the start. Hardly any channels even gave him a chance from the start. And in that, we ask you, what fairness was there ever? Was it bias at the start? You didn't know anything about the man. And as you looked into his past, you found this little problem, this little problem, this little problem, and you went from there. As a media group, you worked yourself into a tizzy. All the way up to, he's going to blow us up. And you know what? We spent four years with the guy now. And he hasn't sent off a nuke to not one single country. One very big bomb. That's it. We're not in wars across the globe. For the first time in over the past 40 years, we're not in a major war. And this man's supposed to be condemned? Democrats have been putting us into major wars. Every president they've got in, every single one, let that sink in. Bill Clinton, major war. Obama dropped a bomb on somebody every 20 minutes of his presidency. And these are the people we want back in office. How amazing is it that there's groups of people out there actually wanting Joe Biden to be back in office, the same guy that sat under Obama watching people being bombed. And now we go into a presidency where then more than likely we're going to see more of that or some fake war that generates a lot of politicians' money. You have a $250,000 salary, but you're worth twenty-four to $26 million? And you have a $4.6 million home? And you own wineries all over the country? I mean, Nancy Pelosi is the richest politician, and it doesn't make any sense. And I don't care if they get into the office as they're rich. Matter of fact, I'd rather have successful people in office, people who have won at life, not people that are failures when they get in, because that is scary. You're asking a failure as a person in life to try to take care of the rest of us, and that's scary. So yes, there should be an amount of professionalism. It's one of the reasons why Trump was tapped. It's one of the reasons why he was being voted for. Because a man has lived a pretty healthy life. He's seen the world. He created a massive amount of New York. He had his name in black colleges. He donated all across the board to different endeavors. If you listen to the media, you will never hear that sort of thing. We've literally watched as channels have admitted that their leaders, their CEOs, will not allow them to talk bad about Joe Biden. They said it up front that they're not allowed as reporters to say anything bad about Biden. And they said it right in front of everyone's face. It's a no Biden spin zone. See, everyone out there needs to remember, media can be bought off to sway your opinion. Actors can be bought off to sway your opinion. Danny DeVito literally came out and said, Mr. de Blasio wanted me to come out and talk about COVID. He paid me to come out and say, people like me are going to kick the bucket if you don't go on lockdown, if you don't go on quarantine. Thus proving that politicians do in fact pay actors to push their agenda. But those out there who are condemning Trump now, just understand that if you live by the sword, you will die by the sword. This woman has nothing to fear but fear itself and the fact that the Democrats are probably going to call her a racist. Because of your skin color, you're probably a racist in their eyes anyway. Remember, this is one of the same groups that went around saying that white people, all of them, were supposed to be racist. And of course, we all know that's impossible. We all know that everyone out there can't be racist of any racial group. 
But what we have here are politicians that are secretively racist, and they want to bring down the United States. They aren't Americans. When Trump has to actually go out and open his own publisher to write his memoirs, that's when you have to say, welcome to the USSA. Make no mistake, you have now, America, allowed these people to take total and utter control of our government. Imagine what these people are capable of when they can impeach a president for a second time towards the end of his presidency in two to three days. This is insane, the amount of power they're already slinging around. If you think Donald Trump was a dictator, wait until Joe Biden and Harris are done with you. You won't be any more happy than you were in the Obama administration. These people said $600 was all that you were worth, and at the very most, $2,000. And neither one of them are commiserate with three months or more of lockdown. And furthermore, you're not adjusting for inflation in different areas. $2,000 in Texas is different than $2,000 in New York City. $600 is only a one-room, one-bedroom house in Iowa for one month. In Florida, it doesn't cover anything. Everybody's rent here is $1,200 and up. You're not even paying half their rent for one month. It is a pittance. It is a number to buy you off. And you want to know the kicker about all of that? Your mom, your dad, your cousin, your auntie, your uncle, somebody out there in your family is paying taxes for this. So whether or not you pay taxes is inconsequential. You should be mad that people are taking your family's money. Taking what would be your inheritance would take money out of your family's mouth to proceed with these kind of things. They didn't get COVID done for months, not even the first one. And the second one took even longer. They were willing to lock you down, close businesses up for good. They're not coming back in some instances. They were willing to do all of that in a blink of an eye to you. They were willing to go after Trump in a blink of an eye. They were ready to bail out rioters at a blink of an eye. But have you yet to get a fair check from the federal government that you have been paying taxes into every time you've had a job? Washington as a group. Look at all the Republicans acting Democrat. Look at all of the Democrats just sticking up for each other. Not one Democrat, not one, voted against impeachment. I think it's pretty transparent and very partisan. People are running around saying this is the most bipartisan impeachment. These aren't Republicans, folks. Those same 10 people were running around for the longest time preaching Trump hate and voting Democrat. For whatever reason, they stay in the Republican ranks. But if you look down their list of things that they voted on, oh my God, Mitt Romney might as well be a Democrat. You say you're a Republican, but you vote for everything pro-Democrat. Some guy the other day said to us, the best Republican would vote Democrat. Don't you get it? That's not two sides of a coin. That's one side of a coin pretending to be two sides. Because these viewpoints aren't supposed to be all just one viewpoint. You're supposed to have several different viewpoints that come together to create a democracy. And in this country, we're supposed to be a republic for the people, by the people. And yes, the capital was attacked, but those were your people, Democrats. So you're telling me they have a momentary lapse in judgment. Follow a man that you think is condemnable, but they are people that are just misinformed. But you have to throw them in jail, hunt them down like dogs. And you didn't do that with any of the rioters. They need to be put in re-education camps? Really? As if none of that sounds like Nazis. None of that sounds like Russians in the communist agenda. No, that's not like talking about putting them in gulags. And we now have cooperation of the gulag theory. The Bernie Bros was caught by Project Veritas talking about reinstating gulags. That they thought it was a good idea and they were going to Trump put Trump people in there. And now you're hearing other Democrats claim the same crap. What's next? You're going to put Christians in re-education camps? Really, honestly, where does it end? Because you just look at China. Winnie the Pooh is banned from China because they were making fun of the emperor's face. He looks like Winnie the Pooh. Is that the kind of censorship you want in America? Because if it is, keep it up. Keep telling the President of the United States that he can't talk. Keep telling Republicans that had nothing to do with it that they can't talk. Attack Trump supporters every chance you get, right? If they're having a momentary lapse in judgment and following somebody because they've led them into a cult, then what are you doing attacking innocent cult members? 
They don't know what they're doing and you should attack them? Are you supposed to beat the person in the insane asylum? We don't really understand your logic other than you want power. And with the Democrats, it's pretty much always power. It's never trying to help you out. It's never trying to get to the point of an issue. It's always trying to scapegoat somebody else into blaming their crap on them. Never mind Pelosi having papers on her desks for months at a time that she didn't touch. Never mind the fact that they kept sticking things in the bill that no Republican would have wanted to sign off on. Don't talk about trying to appease the other side to make the American people's lives any better. No, no. Before any of this happened, you were all for talking about giving the American people all these welfare handouts. But we have lockdowns, COVID, quarantines, all this junk hit us. And you don't want to give us $600? You don't want to give us $2,000? For what reason? You need to save all that money that Trump made back for us? This was an ego-driven impeachment. The FBI can investigate Trump for all of this Russia nonsense. They can't investigate election Fs. No matter how many videos we see online that there was election Fs, they still can't do anything about it. There's no evidence. There's literally a woman sitting in jail right now for election F. But there's no proof of election F, right? And it's not just attacking Trump. Look what they did with Ron Paul and look what they did with Ted Cruz. They shut them off too. This lady right here, because of what she's saying and doing, the same thing is going to happen to her if it hasn't already. And there's something really wrong with a country that wants to silence one side of the opposition. This is their fault just as much as it ever was Trump. Anyway, you folks have a good night, a good morning, a good evening, whichever. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really do appreciate that around here. Also, drop a comment down below. We like to talk with you. We like to pick your brain. And if you have any ideas for new videos, go ahead and pop a comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. If you don't hit the notification bell, we might have a problem getting our videos to you. God bless each and every one of you. See ya.